Hello, my name is Jeff Stoffel. I'm a partner technology strategist, part of our TS2 team, also known as a technology strategy and solutions team. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up an Azure and Open subscription for your customer. In addition, as a partner, I'll show you how to add yourself as a co-administrator so that you can use one login to administer multiple subscriptions across different customers. Let's take a look. Once you've received your volume license activation key from your distributor, head here to aka.ms slash Azure and Open. This will take you to the page where we can start creating our new subscription. Let's click on Activate. Now we need to sign in. It's important to note that we need to sign in with the customer's live ID as we are setting up the subscription in the customer's name. If your customer has an existing organizational account, such as an Office 365 account, we can sign in with that existing account as well. That is what I'm going to do here. Of course, your customer could go through this on their own. However, more likely, you're going to be going through this with them or perhaps on their behalf. Let's now log in as Sarah. This takes us to the sign-in screen where we need to enter the rest of the customer details. Again, remember we are entering the customer's details on this page. We then do a mobile verification, which just sends a code to our mobile phone. Once that is complete, we just enter the Azure and Open Volume License key for this subscription. We then validate the key, which will show us the amount of credits available. Next, you need to enter your email address as a customer's partner. This is important so that you are assigned to receive the alerts in the subscription. We will dig into this a bit more in a moment. Let's now click on Activate. You will now need to wait a few minutes for the setup process to complete. In a couple of minutes, you will see this screen. And then in a couple additional minutes, this screen will show up indicating the subscription is up and running, ready to go. Now at this point, there are a few things you should take care of as a partner. The first one is to rename the subscription to something unique and meaningful for you. Instead of Azure and Open, let's rename this particular one to MS Mod Get Backup. As this is a backup solution, we are selling this customer. The key is to use a name that will make sense to you as you review the list of multiple customer subscriptions later on. The next thing is to go and check that the alerts are set up properly for notification. Your partner email address should already be listed here provided you entered it when setting up the initial subscription. You can see here that we are all set up for notifications. This means that when the credit balance on the subscription gets down to 30%, you will automatically get notified of this event. The third thing you will want to do is jump in the actual portal. Since this is the first time in, the wizard starts up. We can just close that down. You do, however, want to go to settings and add yourself as co-administrator to the customer's Azure and Open subscription. Let's go ahead and add the live ID. This should be your own live ID. Click on the box indicating the subscription you want to co-administer, and in a few seconds that will pop up. You will then be the co-administrator of the account. This is important as you can now log in as yourself and not only see your subscription, but you will also have access to all the subscriptions that you have been assigned co-administrator rights. So if I jump in here, subscriptions, and then I click on the box here, you will see the MS Get Mod subscription. Actually, Contoso is a company. So if we click on that, you can see the MS Get Mod Backup, which is the name we created earlier. Now that I have selected the subscription, you see here that I am administering the customer subscription as myself. So I could now go in and set up the backup service in this case. I can even go in and check credit status. As you can see, we have the $103 credit which aligns with the open credit we assigned earlier. And finally, I can click back to my own account. So as you can see, this is how you can easily go in, apply the open credits, and administer your customer subscription from your own login account. Thanks for watching.